Declutter day today and we are focusing on my wardrobe closet. It has been a year since I have decluttered this space and as many of you know, a lot has changed in the last year. Because of these changes, I have been wanting to refresh and revamp my closet and before we get to that, I want to declutter just any of the useless frumpy old things that I have. So let's get to it. Oh, here we are. I've been having a lot of fun with video transitions lately because they make me feel somewhat magical. When in reality, I just quietly and calmly meandered my way to my bedroom closet from my office upstairs. But anyways, let's hear a quick word from our generous sponsors and then we'll get into decluttering. I got pre-portioned easy meals from Factor and they happen to be the sponsor of today's video. Factor offers meat, seafood, and veggie based dishes and preferences that include keto and calorie smart. Every Factor meal is cooked from scratch by real chefs using the freshest ingredients. Then your order is delivered fresh to your door, never frozen along the way. There's no meal prep, no grocery shopping, but I still get my lunch ready in minutes. And it tastes good, which is extra motivation for me to take the few minutes to make the food. <clears throat> Might have food in my teeth, but I did in fact have food in my teeth, so get started with Factor for up to 60% off your first box by clicking the link in the description below or use code ZIMMY60, that is Z-I-M-M-Y-6-0. Now back to the video. I want to come at this declutter strategically. I will say I care more about my wardrobe now more than ever in recent history. I guess you could say I'm single and ready to mingle. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. For those of you that are new here, here, I am recently separated within the last four months from my hopefully soon to be ex-husband. Hence why half of the closet is completely empty. And yeah, I guess being single, I by no means am looking for a new husband, still trying to divorce the last one currently. But I am hopeful that someday something exciting might happen to me and I want to look cute for it. At least hopefully not be wearing sweatpants for it, if it ever happens. It's hard to be optimistic sometimes with what is going on in my life, but I'm trying to remain logically optimistic. Okay, before things get too dark, let's go over the strategy of this declutter. First question I will ask myself about a piece of clothing is, do I even like this? This huge hoodie sweater, for example, that has like the logo completely washed off of it. I don't even like this. I don't know why I'm keeping it. I don't even like it. First declutter, done. I know the question of do I even like it seems so basic and obvious, but really I, and I know a lot of other people hold on to things that we don't even like just to hold on to them. So I feel like it is a relevant and important first question to ask. Next question I will ask is have I worn this piece of clothing in the last year? We'll take this one for example here. I have not worn this sweater in the last year. Honestly, the first question would, would throw this one out. I don't even like this sweater because the little holes in this, my arms get really cold where the huge little holes are. And I don't like my arm being cold in a striped fashion, if that makes any sense. But anyways, have I worn this in the last year? The answer is no, I have not worn this in the last year. If I did not figure out a day to wear a piece of clothing out of the 365 days in a year, every single weather possibility, every single season, and I couldn't figure out a day to wear it, chances are I'm not gonna figure out a day to wear it in the next 365 days, and ultimately, why am I even keeping it then? Then the last question is, does this even fit me? I can tell you right now, I got a lot of bras that I'm going to be decluttering because my boobs have gotten a lot smaller recently. I've been living a healthier lifestyle, working out more, eating healthy, and as a result, I've been punished with smaller boobs. <laughs> what, what's the view count on this video? How many people did I just announce that to? Whatever, I don't care, we're all friends. Anyways, the point I'm making here is I got a lot of stuff that doesn't fit because of my new lifestyle, so I got stuff to declutter from that pool there, mostly in this area. <laughs> So yes, the three questions, does it even fit, do I even like it, and have I worn it in the last year? If it's a no on any of those fronts, it's a declutter. So let's start decluttering. Previous clothing declutters I have done, I did con my method style, so I took all the clothes out, put it in my bed all in one place to declutter piece by piece. But I feel like I have few enough clothes at this point. I still have way too much, but I have few enough that I don't feel the need to do that. I can look through one by one here and determine what I really need. This shirt right here, so cute. Loved it the first time I wore it and then I washed it and now it is way too cropped and short for me. I'm not walking around with my belly hanging out. I'm just not. If you wanna do that, you do you. 
that's cool. I'm not walking around with my belly hanging out, so that is a declutter. It does not fit me. This I love, I am keeping. I just wanna point it out. It is a bodysuit that I got off of Amazon. Surprisingly high quality for Amazon clothing. Sometimes Amazon clothing is really hit or miss. Mostly miss, actually. I end up returning a lot of Amazon clothing because once I get it, the quality is just not there. But this is a super stretchy, thick material. Like, it is not see-through at all. You cannot see through it. So it's a nice, tight, not see-through bodysuit. Highly recommend. I will have it linked in the description box below. I'm gonna try this on. There's gonna be a lot of try-ons probably probably in this video. We're gonna, we're just gonna see how it goes. All right, ooh, this shirt is really low cut. Yeah, not, this shirt would be cute, but it is too low cut. This is, this is getting decluttered. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of bow out since I'm not wearing a shirt right now and keep going. Ooh, I gotta try this on. Okay, fun fact about this shirt that I'm going to share with you guys. I've shared this, I think I shared this last year when I decluttered my closet, but I'm gonna share it again because it's a solid tidbit. If you wear a women's size, medium, small, or extra small, every so often the girls section at Target, so ages probably nine to 15 year old girls section at Target, they have cute clothes and you basically just size up one. So if I'm a size small, I would buy a size medium, sometimes a size large, in the girls section and they have cute clothes and it's actually cheaper than buying it in the women's section. I've seen the same exact shirt almost, just different sizing in the women's section versus girls section at Target and the women's shirt will be $20 and the girls shirt will be $12. So you save eight bucks by just buying something that's labeled as a larger size basically in the young girls section. Anyways, I, I venture over there sometimes and I got this shirt when I was over there and I think this is super cute in the summertime. So I'm keeping this. I have not not worn this. I, I have worn it in the last year, so I'm not gonna get rid of it based off of that. Let's see, does it even fit? Do I even like it? Where Where is the arm? <laughs> there we go. It does fit. It does fit, and I think I do like it. I know most people are wearing like baggier jackets right now, but the baggy jacket look doesn't, it's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. I like I like this jacket more. This is a really old jacket. I, I don't think, they don't even sell this brand at Target anymore. I got it probably eight to 10 years ago at this point, but hey, I still like it, it still fits. I'ma keep it and I'm actually gonna put this out with all my other jackets so that I can wear it before I leave the house. Mm, I don't think I like this shirt. I don't like it. I don't like it. This little pocket here is always effed up and I'm not gonna iron like a basic cotton shirt every single time I wash it, so declutter. Do y'all ever go shopping and you buy a shirt that you're on the fence about, you like it, but you also are like, uh, I don't know, but then you just bite the bullet and buy it and then you instantly regret it because you own it now and you've literally never worn it one time. Cause that is me in this shirt. <laughs> Let me try it on. All right, let's look at this shirt. Like it's cute. It feels really low cut. I just am worried that, I don't know, from the side it's so low cut, I feel like a nip slip is gonna happen or something. I don't know. This is one of those shirts where if I was just taking photos or something, I would feel good about this shirt because I think it looks cute when it's on, but when it comes to actually going about my day, it has this, I'm not gonna show you all the detail because I'm not trying to like flash the world online, but it does this weird gapping thing in the front and I don't feel safe wearing this shirt out in regular life with like the weird gappage activity that happens in the front area. So I'm going to declutter this because I don't like it because I'm scared of it. <laughs> I'm scared of the shirt, so I'm just not gonna, not gonna keep it. Oh, I have something I wanna show you guys. Sofia Vergara sells, I don't know what you call it, Spanx wear at Walmart. And I got this bodysuit Spanx tank top. All right, this bodysuit by Sofia Vergara, it works. It has this, this thin plasticky thing 
in the front that snatches you. I think I might have gotten it on clearance. Hopefully they didn't like discontinue it. If I can find it, I will have it linked in the description below, but if you don't see it there, it's because they discontinued it. But overall, the Sofia Vergara Spanx stuff, I'm gonna be buying more of it because I was so impressed with this. And I'm not buying the Kardashian ones because I don't personally want to support that family. But yeah, it was at Walmart, super affordable, and it works real well. So thank you, Sophia. All right, I'm feeling good. I got a decent amount of stuff that I like, but I also got rid of a good amount of stuff. One thing I will say is a lot of the shirts that I have kept are shirts that I like and shirts that I wear kind of just, this one looks all weird and wrinkly. It's fine. It's just a casual long sleeve shirt that I wear around my house when I go pick up my kids, drop them off at school. But I also want more cutesy clothes that are kind of more like this. I really like this bodysuit. I got it from a local boutique and I kind of want more things like this. Now that I'm trying, now, now again that I'm single and ready to mingle, I want a little bit more of this and I'm still gonna keep this because most of my life is still comprised of cleaning and doing things with my kids and just running around and being comfortable, but I also want more of this. So that is one of the reasons I am making room for more cute stuff and I'm still keeping my general basics as well. I would say out of what we have here, probably 90% of it is very casual and then maybe only 10% is cute stuff that I would, I don't know, wear to something that I want to look cute at. This looks like a belly shirt, it's actually not. At least it's not if I wear high enough waisted pants. All right, let's move on, but here's what we have decluttered so far. Next, we are going to declutter some of these jeans, which definitely needs to be decluttered because I basically wear the same four to five jeans over and over, and I have a lot more than four to five pairs of jeans. So a lot of them are just sitting here not being used because I don't really like them that much. So let's go through these as you know what, being that we're decluttering and I take decluttering so seriously, I have to tell you guys about a comment that was left on my about my divorce video. So as many of you know, I made a video roughly a month ago about my divorce and how I'm doing all of that. And someone had the audacity to comment that something along the lines of my is so dedicated to decluttering, she even decluttered her husband. <laughs> Too soon, you guys but also amazing roast, and that's probably one of my most favorite comments of all time. <laughs> Would like to correct though, I have not decluttered him. You can't declutter the father of your children. If you have kids with someone, they're with you forever. There is no decluttering. But it was a good roast, and I, I just had to call out that comment because I thought that was a very clever comment. <laughs> but let's get back to actually decluttering things that need to be decluttered. I got, oh, Speaking of Sofia Vergara, people are gonna think I'm like this Sofia Vergara stan, like I'm not. I mean, I like her, but I'm not like obsessed with her or anything. But she has a clothing line at Walmart and she has some solid jeans there. I've been liking bell bottom jeans. I got a pair of the Sofia ones to try out and they're really nice, I like them. All right, I'm gonna have to try some of these on to see which ones I even like and want to keep. First, I'm going to point out the jeans. I don't know if I'm even in frame right now or like if this looks normal. Looking at the screen right now, it looks like I have little gnome legs, but whatever. <laughs> the jeans I'm wearing right now these are my favorite pair of jeans of all time. So much so that I own two pairs of them. All right, let's try on some of the other jeans. Ooh, my feet look nasty, so I'm gonna be putting my slippers back on <laughs> as I show these. Ooh, I like these. These are the Sophia jeans. I think they are super cute. We got some mom jeans here. I like these. They're comfortable. They're very soft. Where did I get them? I think I got them at Target. Of all my mom jeans, these are probably my favorite ones because they're not overly baggy. I don't like the extreme baggy jean trend. Like in the summertime, you can bring them up a little bit too and they look cute with sandals. Yeah, overall, I'm I'm keeping these mom jeans. All right, next I got some skinny jeans and I haven't been wearing skinny jeans as often lately, but really, I need to start wearing them again because these are cute. I, I am a fan of these, especially with it being boot season again. It's just easier to tuck them in. I really like these. Again, Target. I mean, I get a lot of jeans at Target. Target has got some good jeans. 
I feel weird with it like being focused. Oh, they're on a text message. Someone wants to talk to me. I feel weird having it so focused like on my lower half. I just, I just felt like you needed to see my face real quick. All right. All right, this is problematic because I, don't want to get rid of anything. I like all the jeans that I own. I've tried pretty much all of them on at this point, and I like all of them. And I didn't realize it, but it turns out that at some point, I don't remember when, it must have been like one late night when I had nothing to do and I just started cleaning and taking care of things around my house. But it turns out I got rid of all my super like baggy mom jeans and stuff already. I must have had an epiphany one late night and realized that all of them suck and look bad. And so I got rid of basically all of them except for the one pair that I already showed you that's kind of a tighter fitting mom jean. So I have my one mom jean and then I have a whole bunch of skinny jeans and bell bottoms and I like them all so I'm keeping them all. This is going to be the most unproductive portion of today's declutter but all of them bring me joy. As I'm trying them on I feel very happy with all of them so I'm going to keep them all. Next we got my dress and skirt section over here. This dress right here is super cute let me try it on All right here we are this is the dress how cute is this I really like it and it's one of the few dresses I own that's actually a thick sweater material so I can wear it when it's cold outside and I mean it is short so I do live in the south it doesn't get that outrageously cold outside in the winter even though it's obviously short it's still thick enough to keep you relatively warm but it's super soft I like it and I will have it linked in the description below that's the last time I'm going to say that y'all know anything that I can link that I spoke well of I will have linked in the description below something I've also been buying a decent amount of recently because I like bodysuits so much are just cute cute little skirts to wear and not just skirts I mean this looks like a skirt but surprise it's a skirt. actually my favorite ones are skirts, just because I'm so paranoid all the time like I sit like a dude sometimes I'm not that ladylike so skirts don't always work for me so I love a good skirt. and these are I probably should declutter some of my skirts because I just like my skirts so much more. This right here, I want to love so much. Again, like skirt, it's not it's not a skirt or anything, but it's too big. Especially like in this area. I can't even hardly cover up my bra. Ooh, next, I am wearing this with these heels that I got from freaking Walmart. So cute. Anyways, I'm putting the heels on even though you can't even freaking see the heels. Maybe if I back up enough, you can see my heels and I'm far enough away that you can't see my disgusting toes. I really like this dress. I am wearing it to a bachelorette party in a month. You guys, this bachelorette party is, it's a destination one. We're going somewhere. It's a whole bunch of girls. We're staying in the Airbnb and it is my style. Whoever organized this in the wedding party is a type A person and I love it because they sent out an itinerary each of the four days has scheduled activities and times that we're supposed to be places and be ready and everything. I love it, I'm so excited. But yeah, I one of the events is dinner somewhere and we're all supposed to wear bright colored dresses. So this is my bright colored dress for that activity. Then one of the other days, we're all supposed to wear black dresses. So let me show you what I got for that. All right, I'm glad I tried this on. This black dress, I don't know if you can tell, it does not fit anymore. Specifically Specifically, basically in like the chest area. It's supposed to be, you know, like tight. <laughs> and I just, I just, it's like gappy and wrinkly because I just don't fill it out. I'm gonna have to get a different little black dress for the weekend. When I lost weight, why couldn't all the fat just like be like shoved up and transferred here? Seems like I lost a disproportionate amount specifically in one area and I'm real annoyed about it, but also not gonna do anything about it. So other than just complain to y'all. Speaking of complaining, one of my friends recently asked me because I was telling her about the bachelorette party and all the weddings I have coming up and she asked me, you know, with me getting a divorce, am I like depressed or sad about all of these weddings and bachelorette parties and events that I'm going to? 
And I was kind of like, well, why'd you have to bring that up? Like I wasn't, but now, now I'm kind of feeling a certain way about it. But no, I'm super excited for my friends and family that are getting married. I still love love. I still believe in love. I, I hope to be in love again someday. Do I personally want to get married again? Probably not. But I am still a true believer in love and I, I'm super excited for the bachelorette parties and weddings and I feel like me getting a divorce doesn't, I don't know. I guess I didn't even think about it that way until they brought it up and I guess, I, I don't know, I just don't, I just don't correlate the two. I guess it's very easily correlatable if that's even a word, but my marriage ending has nothing to do with them being in love and like getting married married and I hope to be in love again someday so I love love and I love going to weddings and I love going to bachelorette parties and I love seeing my friends and family so I personally am super excited for all these events. It's actually the best time for me to be going to these events because rather than being like sulking and depressed about my divorce and not being around friends and family I would rather be celebrating love and that there is love and be with my friends and family. So yeah, the question that none of y'all asked, but someone recently asked me, that is how I feel about that. And now I need to go buy a new, on, on the list of things to get, new little black dress that actually fits. Out of frame because I'm not dressed, but a piece of me really doesn't want to get rid of this little black dress just because it's basically a size or two too large for me because, I don't know, what if I stop working out and stop eating healthy? Easily well could gain 10 pounds in the next month being that it's the holiday season. So I don't know, I'm not decluttering this, I'm just setting it to the side. Not even gonna try this on, I can still remember I tried this on last year and pondered getting rid of it because I hadn't worn it in a year. And here we are today, I still have not worn this. No plans to wear it, so I'm decluttering it. Next we got this jumpsuit that I got, you know, with in hopes that we'll go on a cruise or something. I don't think that's gonna be happening now with all that's gone on in my life but oh, maybe someday I'll go on a cruise. And this is super cute. Finally, a dress that actually fits. Yay, goes well and perfect with my favorite Walmart shoes. And they got like a thick block heel that's not too high, so it's pretty easy to walk in. All right, I did get rid of a lot of dresses though. I am keeping these three really expensive ones just because I could gain 10 to 15 pounds back and then they'll be perfect again. Also, I wanted to show you guys like the little clips that I attach all my skirts to. I love, I just got a huge pack of them off of Amazon. If you have these basic felt hangers, they attach on to just any of the thin felt hangers and you can hang your skirts, your rompers. I mean, you could clip your pants up, whatever, but I just use them for my skirts and I guess my one romper <laughs> that I am keeping. And look it, it looks so nice. It's like I live in my own little boutique. All right. So over here I got my skirts, rompers, and the very few dresses, mainly like the swim cover-ups that I own over here. Next area we're addressing is my cube storage. I just dumped out a whole bunch of my cube bins because we're gonna do this kind of my method style. I don't fold, can you see me, can you see me? I don't fold a lot of the stuff that goes into my cube bins if it doesn't have compartments, like I roll my leggings and stuff, I roll, I roll some of my pajama sets together, but when it comes to the workout clothes and stuff, it all just gets shoved in there. So I pulled everything out and we're just gonna go piece by piece and figure figure out what stays and what goes. I'm not, not married, not in a relationship, not hanging out with any dudes, so. Don't really know, I don't know. I don't, I don't need this. Fuck men. <laughs> Just kidding, not all men, right? All right, swimsuits. I gotta keep my swimsuits. I saved all these like swimsuit cuppy things over time. I don't need them, so declutter. Wow, a lot of the stuff in here, a lot is getting decluttered. A lot is just like, I don't even like this. Why do I have this? I keep my leggings rolled in one of these cube organizers that has six different sections. I wish they still sold these cube organizers on Amazon because I would buy more that are specifically this divided. This is my favorite cube organizer of all time and I only have one for leggings and it's always full because I own so many leggings and I'm keeping them all because I love my leggings. Everyone always asks me where I get these. Unfortunately, they do not sell them anymore. All right, moving on, we got 
Oh, something back here. I think this is my ex's. This is so old. You guys, this is at least, I mean, Morona. They haven't carried Morona at Target in so long. All right, and it's one of those things. <laughs> I'm hoping at least it's one of those things. Fashion comes in and out. If I had done this not too long ago, pea coats were not really in for 10 years. But considering this is like over 10 years old, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, this pea coat's pretty cute, isn't it? And it actually fits. Let's button it up. I mean, it looks cute unbuttoned, but let's button it and see how it looks buttoned. I'm going to a winter wedding in Minnesota, and I wasn't sure what coat to wear over, you know, the winter dress, but this is a good, nice looking, coat to wear if you're going to something where you don't really want to be wearing like a puffer vest or a puffer coat or something like that. You know, I'm doing all this decluttering, but maybe if you hold on to freaking everything, it just eventually comes back into style because this pea coat's really cute. I'm still decluttering though because I just, I can't have the excess mess in my house. I am happy I found this though. I'm keeping it. I live in jean shorts in the summer, so I like I'm not decluttering these. Been working out again. These tank tops right here, these are my favorite. I have them in multiple colors. I have them in an orange too that's in the wash right now. These are my favorite all-time workout tanks from Amazon. I love them. Next thing we got that I've been straight up ignoring is my wedding dress that I actually found and discovered that I still had, I don't know, maybe six-ish months ago, but yeah, my wedding dress. What do I do with this now? Back when my marriage was still in Packed and I found this. I was planning on surprising my husband with it on our 10 year anniversary and taking couples photos, but you know, that never happened. And now I don't know, I'm obviously not gonna do anything like that now, so what do I do with this? I don't have a daughter I can save my dress for and give it to, and with it being a marriage that didn't pan out happily ever after, you wouldn't want your daughter. Girl, you don't wanna wear a dress from a marriage that didn't work out, right? Y'all, if you have any ideas on what to do with this, please leave it in the comments below. I've heard some people have dyed their wedding dress a different color after their divorce. I'm sure there's more creative people out there who have better ideas than I could come up with right now. So if you're one of those creative people, please let me know in the comments below. I, I don't know. I feel like I want to do something with this. When my divorce is finalized, there's got to be something fun I can do with this. For now though, I'm not going to keep it in this closet. I'm going to move it upstairs. Next, I got an absurd amount of bras that don't fit me anymore. But just like the dresses that I'm keeping because they're very expensive, bras are pretty expensive and no promises that I'm going to, you know, keep being super healthy and fit all the time. So I think I'm going to allow myself to keep four of these, I don't know, like 80 bras that I own in the next size up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow myself to keep four. This one's super cute, but it was too big even when my boobs were bigger. So it's definitely never going to fit me ever again. I'll keep this, I'll keep this strapless one. Oh, this one's cute. And this one was relatively new. A black strapless and a neutral strapless. I keep breaking my own rules that I set in this video, but whatever. I'm keeping six bras. I don't know, I have a halter top one, a dark and a light strapless one, a basic black regular one, a basic tan regular one, and then, I don't know, this festive red one. So what is that? That's six. I still got rid of over half of them, so I'm happy with that. Next, we got some boxes up here. I'm gonna look through. Pulled everything out from the top shelves. I came across my ex's soccer cleats, so I'll give these back to him. This. Oh, my sun hat for when the weather is nice and beautiful and warm, my favorite. I have to keep this. <laughs> Let's brush off the dust here. Ooh, it actually is like really freaking dusty. Um, my wedding shoes. Declutter. All right, <laughs> moving on. Ooh, that was aggressive. It like shifted the camera. Okay, next, I got some memorabilia in here that I totally missed and forgot about when I did my massive memorabilia declutter a few months ago. Crap, so what do I wanna keep out of here? I mean, some of these wedding photos are great, like my besties and my cousins are all right here. I don't feel like, I'm not gonna like throw away all my wedding photos because 
my wedding day is still, I'll, I'll say it, my wedding day is still the happiest day of my life. Out of all the days, if I could relive one day, I would relive my wedding day. Knowing what I know now, I would probably like cancel like the signage of everything, but I would still want to party with all my loved ones. The reason I would relive my wedding day is not because of, you know, my ex, obviously. I mean, I would want to relive it because my dad was alive in there and all my friends and family were there. It's the one day out of my entire life that every single one of my friends and family members, like everyone that I liked was in one place at one time. The only day. So even though, you know, things didn't work out, I guess in a way I'm still thankful that I have had at least one day in my life where literally everyone I like and love was all in one place together. And so that is why it is still the happiest day of my life because of my friends and family. So. I'm not just gonna like throw away all my wedding photos because I have great photos like this that have all my best friends and all my favorite girl cousins all in one place. Some photos I'm gonna throw away though that I don't really need. There's teenage me. <laughs> you wanna know why I don't feel bad when I throw away my kids' schoolwork and like their random pictures and stuff? Like I do save their report cards and standardized test grades and stuff like that because I like seeing what an idiot I was when I was a child <laughs> because I didn't get great grades all the time and I mean I'm not living in a ditch somewhere so gives me hope gives me hope that my kids will be all right but the reason I don't save like their drawings and pictures and stuff is my mom saved my kindergarten notebook and I'm throwing it away right now because I don't care I don't even care enough to look through it so I'm pretty sure none of my boys are gonna care enough to look through theirs basically what I'm doing now is I'm decluttering a bunch of stuff from these but I mean anything that has a picture of my ex or something on it I am setting aside in a box to give to him because do unto others as you would want them to do to you, right? If he found a whole bunch of old pictures of me, I would appreciate it if he gave them to me. So I'm gonna give him, you know, any photos I come across of him if he wants to keep it. Got a whole bunch of wedding photos here too. I'm just gonna give those to my ex. He can keep them if he wants. Oh, this is so cute. I'm going to keep all of this and file it away in my memorabilia area upstairs. This is my folder of, I guess, my memorabilia from when I worked at the Target corporate headquarters it was a rough job it was a tough job but honestly it's the job I learned the most from so it was a great job it was well worth it but I have photo booth images of me and the four interns that I mentored when I was there all my performance reviews every performance review I ever got at Target one of these performance reviews is a really negative one I'm not gonna like go searching for it but when I very first started working at Target I almost got fired basically because I just was too dumb I wasn't picking up the information we went through three months initially of just learning all the different systems and the logic behind everything. It was basically go like going to a semester of college again and we would have to we would have to learn our job and I wasn't learning how to do the job. It was just over my head for whatever reason. So my very first performance review was basically your performance is awful and you're about to get fired if your performance doesn't improve and I started working like 70 or 80 hours a week to improve my performance and figure shit out and do the extra studying and I eventually figured it out enough that I worked there for a few years before deciding to move to Texas. Things happen for a reason. I remember when I got that negative review and was told that I'm on the brink of being fired. I felt so sad. I like went home bawling, crying. And actually before I went home, like after the review, I went to the bathroom and cried my eyes out in the office bathroom. But things happen for a reason. And it taught me how to pull myself up by my bootstraps, whatever the saying is. I don't have a VHS but I'm not gonna throw that away in case there's some gold on there. A lot of this is my ex's. He can keep all of it. I'm gonna put my stuff up in my attic with my other memorabilia. And really, one of these days, I gotta go through like the memorabilia that I just decluttered and spent like two days on several months ago and figure out what needs to go to my ex there too. So that's another day. What do we got? Oh, we got my cowboy boots here. All right, these ones, these. I'm gonna try them on. I think they're in the category of things that don't fit. 
Do they fit again? All right, let me get the other on. I mean, maybe with socks on they wouldn't fit, but let's see. With thin enough socks, these, these fit well enough. I tried to declutter these and sell these a while ago, and then I just forgot about them. <laughs> But now, now they fit again for whatever reason. So I'm, I'm gonna keep them. Also keeping these ones because I love America and these are like the most American boots in existence. Here's the status of everything now. This is everything I decluttered all piled up. I need to put those in bags and give them to Goodwill. Keeping this, keeping this. This is the memorabilia that I'm keeping. And this is everything that is going to my kid's dad. Even though I got rid of more than two garbage bags full of stuff, my closet looks pretty much the same here. These bins are a lot less packed though, and I still have them organized the way I like them organized. This declutter day was a little bit different because it was kind of prepping and clearing out stuff so that I can refresh it for the new me. But I really hope you enjoyed this declutter day video. If you did, feel free to click on one of the other decluttering, cleaning, shopping videos floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.